Hey guys, what is up? Thank you so much for watching. If you don't know who I am, Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for watching. Welcome back to The Makeup Trolley. My name is Amanda, and today I'm going to have a little tutorial on a little bit of a twist on Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to start off by saying that that is what I originally intended, but as you'll see throughout the video, the shapes that I create on my eyes did not come out the way I had planned. So this is just a general special effects tutorial. Let's just go with that. So if you want to stick around and see it, then keep on watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is glue down your eyebrows with a washable glue stick. We are going to be using latex, and if you get latex in your hair, it will rip out all of your hair. So if you don't want to look like a naked mole rat, you will glue those babies down. Now I'm just preparing the latex and I'm just going to pour it into a cup. This is just liquid latex that I got from Alcone. I also pre-cut some cotton pads with eye holes in it so I can see. Again, they don't have to be hearts. I had just done that because my intention was to make them look like hearts over my eyes, but you'll see later that they didn't really come out the way I wanted it to, so you don't have to make them hearts. You can just leave them and cut a hole in the middle. And now I am just taking some black cream paint and I'm painting all around my eyes and do that until you look like a panda bear or a raccoon or some kind of animal that's not yourself. And then I am just going to set that with some black eyeshadow. This one is just from a Morphe palette, but you can use any black eyeshadow. I also suggest using regular paint brushes or just something that you don't care about too much because all of this paint will dirty them up a lot. Now I am going to take that liquid latex with a popsicle stick and I'm just going to add that to the perimeters of my eye where I put the black paint and that is just going to be where the cotton pads will stick. Now you're going to stick the cotton pad right where you glued. Make sure you can see in the hole that you made for your eye. Then you're gonna take the same popsicle stick and liquid latex and you're gonna put more of that latex on top of the cotton pad to set it down in place. Once you've done that to both of your eyes, make sure you let it dry and make sure you stay hydrated. Now take some of the black paint that you used to paint your eyes beforehand and you're just gonna darken the cotton pads and make sure they are as black as you can get them. I'm going to use third degree to create the fleshy parts around the cotton pads that is supposed to be the gouged out eyes. Third degree is a silicone based appliance consisting of two parts. You get part A and part B. When you mix them together, you get a silicone that is extremely easy to work with and it makes great wounds and great special effects. You want to be incredibly careful to not mix part A and part B in their jars. You're going to want to take two separate utensils, I'm using popsicle sticks, label them A and B, this way you don't get confused as to which one goes in which jar, and mix them on a plate. If you mix them in their jars, they will cure and you will not be able to use them again. Once I've mixed my part A and my part B, I've added my foundation to the silicone, this way it matches my skin better and I don't have to do any color correcting. And then I'm just gonna take a spatula and sculpt out the edges around the cotton pads. And don't get it in your hair like I just did right there. Welcome to 
Once you've sculpted out all your edges, make sure you let the silicone dry because it's gonna be wet for a few minutes. Once it does dry, take some translucent powder. I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder and just set the silicone with it because the powder will take the shine out of the silicone. Once you've done that, use your spatula to make some more skin flaps by just wedging it under your silicone and lifting some of those pieces up. Taking my Skin Illustrator Zombie Palette, yep, that blue color just fell out of the pan, but I got it back. I'm going to take the bruise tone and I'm just going to add some bruising around those gouged out eyes. This does not have to be even, nor should it be, because, you know, your eyes are gouged out. I think the last thing that you're thinking about is making sure that the color is super even. But just keep in mind that the Skin Illustrator Palettes is an alcohol-based paint so you will need 99% alcohol to make these paints activate a mistake I made while painting this is at some point I did put alcohol paint on the cotton pad don't do that because the fumes from the alcohol will burn your eyes that was kind of dumb of me to do but I kind of just wanted to try it so just don't do what I did because you know, that's stupid. <laughs> the other thing I tried to do with this paint was to try to bring out the shape of the heart more. I don't think it really worked, so you don't have to do this. So some of this will be a little bit quote unquote unrealistic because I was trying to put more color where the curves of the heart would be. But again, you just can kind of do this as you'd like. You can also Google reference pictures if you really want to, but I tried that and... I don't know, I didn't really find anything other than makeup anyway. Now I'm taking some Benai Thick Blood and I'm gonna take a paintbrush and just paint that blood right on the blacks of the cotton pads, AKA where your eyeballs got ripped out of their sockets. Now I'm just taking some blood that I got from Alcone um, I actually don't know what exactly this is called, but it is thinner, it's runnier, it's brighter as if it were fresh and new, you know. You could also use stage blood for this. And I'm just taking a paintbrush and creating the drips coming from the eyeball sockets. So this is me forgetting that I forgot a couple steps before I added the blood. I was just so excited about it. So I'm just adding some foundation to any of the discolorations in my skin. What I would suggest is going in with this part of the makeup before you do any blood. So basically after you powder the silicone, you could put foundation all over your face. Um, and then I'm also going to contour and highlight as well because you know, just because the eyeballs got ripped out of your head doesn't mean you can't have chiseled cheekbones. Don't forget to apply your favorite lipstick. I just chose this Anastasia Beverly Hills one in the shade Rio. All right, guys, that's it. That's how I got my gouged out eyes. Shout out to Maureen Knotts, who I got a lot of this technique from. I think I'm saying her last name right. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media, and I'll see you next time. Bye.